Well, at Hellier College, um, we have three or four streams of maths. Uh, you can study at workplace maths, and workplace maths is designed for students who want to go into VET or straight into the workplace after college. You do get your numeracy tick and 15 points from that. And we look at topics like measurement, so finding the area um, perimeter of shapes, and finance, things like GST and banking terminologies. So this is an example we have for workplace maths. So one of the units is measurement. So we look at some basic shapes, the area and perimeter of them. And then we use that knowledge to do a practical investigation. So here we went and measured uh, out the cafeteria. Um, the students took down their measurements and then they created a scale diagram to find the total area of the cap. We also have another stream of maths called the General Maths Programme. Um, the General Maths 3 is a pre tertiary subject that you can count towards your ATAR and is needed for some university courses. And our General Maths 2 Foundation gets you into that General Maths 3 course. It is a little bit more abstract and not as real world as workplace maths, but you can get the General Maths 3 pre tertiary at the end. So this is um, some examples of the type of question that we do in uh, General Mathematics Foundation. Um, it's transposing some linear algebra. So this example over here, we've got um, 2y plus 5x take away 6 and it's asking us to solve for y um, and we essentially rearrange the equations. So this is a problem from the General Maths 3 course. You can see that uh, we're examining the relationship between the temperature and number of cold drinks sold. So we'd expect that if, it, uh, if it's a hotter day, we'd be selling more cold drinks. And we're modelling this in three different ways. Uh, this is a really typical question from General Maths 3. So you can see we have a table of values here. When we go and make a scatter plot of that table of values, we can see the relationship is obvious that uh, a higher temperature leads to more sales. Also, we obtain uh, an algebraic model, an equation. Uh, that uh, needs to be done on the calculator, so you will learn how to use uh, CAS technology uh, in order to obtain that equation from this table of values. Another stream we have is a maths method stream, uh, and that consists of a, a two-year course. There's Math Methods Foundation 3 and Math Methods 4. Both of those courses count towards your ATAR and they are really useful for university subjects like medicine, engineering, um, higher science and higher maths. So this is an example of a Methods Foundation 3 type question where we are asked to graph the following quadratic including all of the important points, so the intercept and the turning point. So we've got our quadratic here, we've got 2x squared plus 12x plus 10. So the first thing we need to do is we need to find the x-intercept or the y-intercept. So to find the y-intercept, we're going to let x equal zero. So everywhere where there's an x, we're going to put in a zero, which leaves us with y is equal to 10. So we can say that the x, the y-intercept, sorry, is zero comma 10. To get the x-intercept, it's a little bit more challenging because we need to let y equal zero. And now we've got a quadratic that's got x squared and x in it, so we need to solve that using one of the many techniques. On the board we've got the cross method, but in Methods Foundation you'll learn the quadratic formula and a bunch of other methods. We get our two points, so those are our intercepts. We need to find our turning point. Our turning point is found using this formula here, so minus b on 2a, where a is the coefficient in front of the x squared and b is the coefficient in front of the x. We put that in, we get minus 8. That means that y is equal to minus 8 when x is equal to minus 3. So now we have all of our important points that we're placing on our graph, which gives us the quadratic graph. So we've got an integration problem for Maths Methods 4 here. You can see that there are limits. This is what we call a definite integral, this type of problem. And what we're doing is we're solving for an unknown value. The unknown value in this case is k. So you can see the setting out. It also involves logarithms, absolute values, and eventually we get to a solution. There were actually two solutions here, but because we're restricted to positive well, values of k greater than positive 1, 
there is only one solution in the end. Basically, I just wanted to challenge myself. Yeah, yeah, and it'll be useful for uni because I want to go into sciences. So everyone in the classroom has like the same work ethic, so it's, you know, everyone's there for a reason. If you need help, you just ask and, you know, you can talk to them outside of school. Oh, the teachers are very good, yeah. Just to step up in the workload. Um, but yeah, if you give, if you put all in, you'll get a lot out of it, I think. Yeah. I chose Math Methods 4. For the future pathway that I'm choosing, I need to do Math Specialised, so this allows me to do special next year. A fair bit of study involved with it, if you want to do well. We also have another course called Math Specialised, which is a continuation of the Math Methods 4 course. And that really gives students an introduction to first year university maths, and that's really useful um, if you're going to use maths at university. I did Methods 3 and Methods 4 in Year 10 and 11 and so it leads on um, to the next level of maths I suppose and it prepares me for uni where I want to study engineering. There are a few uh, challenging uh, techniques we've learned I suppose but you know we practice them and get lots of help. What I would stress is that it's really important if students know what they want to do at university that they check the maths requirements especially on the mainland because they do differ to Tasmania.